Hello everybody, my name is Tommy and welcome to Aero Workshop. This video is going to be the first in a series of videos on the latest addition to the workshop which is contained in these two boxes right here and that is a News Nest Workbee Z1 Plus CNC machine. Now, some people guessed when I done my last video where I built a bench that I was getting a CNC and you are correct, that's exactly what I was building that bench for. This machine is designed and manufactured in the UK by Oosnest and it comes in a kit form. So you do have to assemble the components once you receive the machine. Now, I do want to state at this stage that this machine was gifted to me by Oosnest to use on this channel, but I'm not getting paid to make any videos or anything in respect of the machine. I will leave a link in the description below which will bring you to the Oosnest website where you can check out the range of machines, etc. Now that is an affiliate link, so if you do make a purchase on their site using that link, I do get a small commission in return which I can use to grow my channel here. This video is going to be unboxing the machine and a quick overview of all the components you get when you purchase one of these machines. And the other videos I'm going to be doing an overview from the very start of building until I actually have the machine up and running. So even if you're not considering buying one of these machines but you are mechanically minded I'm hopeful that these videos will be enjoyable to watch just so you can see how these machines work. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just take everything out of the two brown boxes, lay it on the bench and then we'll run through what you actually get with the machine. Okay, with the outer packaging now removed, I have everything laid out on the bench here in front of me. And I have divided it into four groups. Now, the reason I've done that is because you have certain components that will vary depending on the size of the machine. You have standard components that don't vary regardless of what size of machine you have. You have some components that you have a choice in what you get. And then there's the last group, which will be the optional extras that you can purchase if you so wish or you can add to the machine at a later date. So we'll move the camera now and we'll start getting a closer look at what's on the bench. Okay, the first thing you're going to find when you open the smaller of the two boxes on the top of everything is this card. Now this card is very important because the machine doesn't come with an instruction manual enclosed in the boxes. So it gives you the website that you need to go to, which is learn.oosnest.co.uk to access the instruction manuals. And it also gives you the model number, which is a Z1 Plus, and the version. In this case, it's version one. So when you go onto the site, you go to the Z1 Plus version one, and you'll be able to get all the instructions for building the machine there. Now, once you do that, you have a set for instructions, you have the full detailed list done into three sections. You have mechanical, you have 
the electrical and you have the final assembly and testing. Those are the three categories that they use. Now you can download them and use them off the computer but I'm old school, I like to have a piece of paper in front of me where I can read it, I can write notes on it or I can do whatever I need uh, because I haven't printed off and you'll note that even in the instructions it gives you a list of the tools required to build the machine. Now there's nothing extraordinary there, they're basic enough tools, it's going to be just some allen keys, some spanners, uh, a flathead and Phillips screwdriver, an engineer square, a rubber mallet or a soft mallet and tweezers and wire cutters. It's a very simple tool kit that's required to build this machine. But you will also see in certain parts there'll be a link to a what they call cheat sheets. Now this is a cheat sheet for what's contained in all the brown boxes that are laid on the bench. So it tells you exactly what components are in each of the smaller boxes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to leave everything in the boxes until I actually need the part. Then I can go to this and I can reference to know what box do I find each component in. So just for example, if I'm looking for precision shims or bearing shims, I know that I can go to the box that's brackets and spacers. Every component for this machine is numbered or it is lettered to let you know what each part is. I'll show you that on the boxes as we go around. But all these categories that are on this, that's what all the boxes on the bench have a main category and then you have all the components inside it and each individual component is in a little bag which tells you the size and the quantity that's in it. So I'll just move down now and we'll start at the left hand end of the bench and we'll work our way back up here, just a quick overview of what I've got. Okay, starting off with the extrusion, these are the components that will vary depending on which model of machine that you buy. So if you buy a 500 by 500 millimeter machine, they will be substantially shorter than these. This is a 1500 by 1500 millimeter machine. It's the largest in the range that Ooznest do. I believe that there are six different sizes that you can get. This being the larger one. So that's why I put these in the section that can vary. You also have the drag chains, which are for a 1500 mil machine. These will vary in length for the smaller machines. But as you can see, every component has a label giving you the size and what it's for. Um, the lead screws are the same. They come in a package. They will vary in length as well. And they all have little plastic uh, markers which is telling you that's for the X, this is for the Y, and this is for the Y. So it's very simple to be distinguish each component that you need from the bundles because they're very well marked. Okay, we're moving on now to the section that's standard with all the sizes of machines. And each box is labeled as to what category is in each box. So this box, for example, is mounts, this one is stepper motors, you have brackets and spacers, motion hardware, aluminium plates, wires, and the power supply, and emergency stop. Now, like I said, every box has the components, they're all individually in little bags, and it'll tell you what is in each bag and the quantity, and no matter what box you go to, Everything is done the same. There might only be one washer or it might be 10 washers or it could be 100 washers or whatever, but they're all individual and it'll tell you what it is. So when you're following the instructions, you know exactly which bag you're looking for. And if you have the little cheat sheet that I showed earlier, you'll know which box to go look for each part. And for the likes of the aluminium plates, where they don't have each one individually stickered, you get a card which shows you the shape and size of each component and what that component is. 
So it's a very easy reference to know, there's, say that's the nameplate, and there's, uh, for example, this one here is the X back plate, because you can see it in the picture there. So, and as you can see, everything is very well packaged so that there's no uh, risk of getting damage in transport. You also get your power supply cord, depending on which country you're in. Uh, it'll, the plugs will vary. You get two packets of cable ties for tidying up the wires. And you also get a little box marked extras. Now, this little box contains very important things. You get some treats for buying the machine. You also get two uh, bits to use with your machine. Uh, in this case, you get a 30 degree V bit and you get a six mil or a quarter inch uh, straight cutting bit. You also get two Oosnest tree, Oosnest stickers as well, and you get the little spanner that's really thin because you need that to adjust some of the eccentric spacers that are actually required for adjusting the wheels on the machine. Next up is the section where I said you had a choice and the first of those is for the controller. Now the controller is the means for your laptop to speak to the machine. So you can have two choices here. You can have an Ethernet connection where you connect the cable from your laptop to your controller or you can have a Wi-Fi version. Now because I have Wi-Fi in the workshop, I went for the Wi-Fi version not to have cables and all dragging around the place. And the other thing is your milling motor or your router head, whichever, whatever you want to call it. Now you have choices here too. You can go for a cheap uh, trim router option. You can go for some little bit more expensive trim router options, or you can go for a proper Maffel milling motor, which is designed for use for longer periods of time. Now, I have just went for the cheaper trim router option to get the machine up and running. This is the Katsu router, and you get the router mounts to suit whichever router head you are actually going to use. Now, the one thing I will say, if you did happen to have a Makita trim router or a Dewalt trim router, you could actually use that trim router instead of actually buying another router in it, and all you'd have to do is get the mount. You can get the mount in 65 for your Makita and Katsu, 69 for your Dewalt, and you also get it as a 42 to suit the Maffel uh, milling motors. So you have options available for when it comes to the power of the machine. And then last but not least is your optional extras. And I have gotten a dust shoe so that I can hook extraction up to draw the dust away from the cutter. I have got the X, Y and Z probe which I will show in later videos, but this allows you to set the bit to the corner of your material and to the thickness of your material. So I went for that. Um, I don't have any cutters for a CNC, so I opted for the starter kit, which is a basic um, set of small CNC bits, you have a few ball nose bits, you have straight cutters and all in different sizes. I will cover the likes of bits and all at a later stage. And I also went for a surfacing bit. Now, you do need a surfacing bit of some type to actually flatten the spoil board of the machine once you have it up and running to make sure that everything is running perfectly level. If you don't surface the board once you get the machine up and running, the, it might be a little bit out and it'll be going deeper in one part to another part. So you do need to surface. So I took the opportunity to get a surfacing bit as well. Now there's one thing I didn't mention in the unboxing and that's because it doesn't come in the box and that is your CAD or your CAM software that you use to create your projects, turn it into G-code and tell the machine what to do. Now, 
Ooz Nest offer two brands of this software. You have Carvico Maker, which is a subscription-based software, and you have Vetric. Now, the Vetric software is a lifetime license, so you purchase it outright from straight, where the Carvico Maker, you pay, uh, I think, for a year, uh, first off, and then you can renew your subscription from there on. Now, you don't get the software in the box. Once you receive your machine, you will get your software as an email link, and that's how you get your software. So if you do happen to get it and you don't see, oh, I don't get me, didn't get me software, it doesn't come in the boxes, it comes as a link in an email once you have received your machine. Now I have went with the Vetric software, which is a lifetime license, and I will cover the software. Once I have the machine up and running, I will give a little bit more information about the software. I'm actually still learning how to use the software, but it actually, so far, it's actually very easy to use. So that's about it for this video. I just wanted to give an insight as to what you get if you want to build one of these CNCs. And in the next video, I'll be starting to do the build process on this machine. So, if you're interested in looking at more of it, maybe subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on it. And all I can say is, thanks very much for watching, and I'll hope to see you again soon. Good luck.